hate water. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Kristen and I post DIY, lifestyle, and shop with me videos every week. So for the past week, I challenged myself to drink a gallon, yes, a gallon of water every day for the past week. Guys, I am not a water drinker at all. I hate water, I hate the taste of water. Drinking enough water is one of the most essential and beneficial things that we can do for our bodies. So I'm gonna pop up on the screen all of the benefits of like drinking enough water and what it's supposed to do. But if we're being honest, I am mostly interested on how it can help me with weight loss, clear skin, under eye bags, and energy in that order. And we'll talk about the results at the end of the video. So I've tried this challenge before in the past using like 24 ounce and 34 ounce water bottles, but I would lose track of how many times I filled them up during the day and I would just never stick with it. So I went onto Amazon and I purchased this half gallon water bottle. This is not sponsored. I just purchased this with my own money and this was the key to my success, like $17. I'll leave a link in the description below. They have lots of different colors. They have two different sizes, by the way. So this is the half gallon, and here is a paper towel roll. For size comparison, they have a gallon version on there, but if you look in the customer reviews and see the pictures, the gallon one is like ridiculous. So just having this water bottle and filling it up twice per day was perfect for me. The handle is really good quality and it doesn't make your water taste like plastic, which is such a huge thing. And the most important part is that this straw pops up and it actually works. I love everything about this. I'll leave the link in the description below. So the rules are simple. Drink one gallon of water a day and document the findings. So I documented a little clip every day on my thoughts and feelings of how you know, the challenge was progressing every day. So you'll see those in this video. And also before we get started, I am planning on making this into a 30 day challenge. So this video is about all the changes that I experienced in one week and make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notify button so that you don't miss the month long challenge. So without further ado, let's get started. So today is actually day two of the challenge and I have to consciously remind myself that I need to drink this. If we're talking about drinking a lot of water, we're gonna be talking about peeing in this video. They go hand in hand. So I did a lot yesterday, which is really unfortunate because we are in the middle of this coronavirus and toilet paper is scarce. It is a hot commodity and I should not be using the bathroom this much. So I'm trying to ration my toilet paper. I won't go into details. Okay guys, so we are on day three of the water challenge and today's a little bit harder. I'm trying to at least get this done by 5 p.m. If I don't finish this by 5 p.m., I'm in trouble at night. But one thing that I found is like the more I drink, the thirstier I am. I'm actually drinking more than a gallon of water a day. Like at nighttime, like I'll finish it and then I'm still thirsty. So I fill up like a glass of water and I have it with me when I'm going to bed and I'm still drinking all of that. So that's weird. So today is day four of both quarantine and the water challenge. Cravings for other food have gone way down. And probably one of the most exciting things is that I'm actually starting to learn that when I have cravings for food or I wanna go out to the kitchen to pick at stuff, I'm actually thirsty and not hungry. So if I drink enough water, that feeling, that constant nagging feeling will actually go away. And that has never happened before in my life. I am always thinking about food, so I, am really, really happy about that. And another thing is when I do go out to eat anything or snack or whatever, I eat way less, probably because my stomach's full of water. Um, but I find that that's really, really helpful too. So today is day four and it is 3.30 and I'm about to finish this first half gallon. So that's a good sign. I wasn't really even paying attention. It just went down pretty easily. So that's a plus. So it's about eight o'clock on Friday and I'm down to this. It is no longer like really, really hard. Um, occasionally I will find myself having to like chug a bunch just to catch up on the time, but it's not anything that I really have to think about anymore. It's pretty automatic. So I guess the test now is I'm gonna head over to my boyfriend's house and I'm gonna take it and see what it's like having to do this outside of my house. So it is day six of the water challenge and I just filled up my second bottle. It is about six o'clock right now. I forgot my camera at home, so I'm filming on my iPhone right now. So sorry if it's 
little bit weird. I'm really excited to like get all the measurements and see, you know, what's changed and talk about it tomorrow. So see you then. Okay, so yesterday was the last full day of the challenge and it is time to share the results. So first let's talk about difficulty. So as you could tell from the daily vlogs, drinking the water got easier and easier as the days went on and it was just not as hard as i thought it was going to be in the first place i also wasn't running to the bathroom as frequently as i thought i would be and it got less and less frequent as the week went on next is energy i felt so good drinking all of this extra water i feel like my body just had what it needed to function properly and perform better. I feel like I had more energy, a better mood, and I was just less grumpy overall. So next let's talk about the under eye circles. So I thought in the middle of the week that they were getting better, but then yesterday they didn't look as good. So I can't definitively say whether or not the water has improved them yet or not. I've read some other articles that said it takes up to a month for you to see any changes in your under eye circles. So we'll see how that goes in the next video. But I also haven't been getting much sleep lately because once this quarantine went into effect, all of my self-discipline just went out the window and I've been watching TikTok videos until like 2 in the morning. I'm obsessed and somebody needs to stop me. My skin has definitely cleared up this week compared to what it was when it began, but I don't know if it's because of the water or if it's because of just natural healing. I don't really have terrible skin, but I did have a mild breakout when this challenge first started, but I don't have any new breakouts, which is really nice. I do feel like my skin looks fresher and healthier and I wasn't wearing makeup all week, so I noticed like I liked my skin a little bit more than I typically normally do. I feel like it's not as dull and lifeless as some other weeks, so maybe that is attributed to the water. Again, I think I will have better results at the end of the month on skin. Now finally, what I'm sure everybody is most interested in is weight loss. <laughs> And guys, this is definitely the most rewarding part of this whole challenge. I know weight loss is not like the definitive, it's not what we should all be focused on, but let's be honest, I'm focused on it. So I have been averaging about 118.5 pounds for the last like month or two months. I have even been working with a nutritionist and I just can't seem to get under that number and we don't know why and it's just, it has been, it's been a journey. So as of yesterday and today, I am averaging 116 point three pounds guys that is huge for me and i can definitely see a noticeable difference in the mirror and what makes all of this even crazier is the fact that i have been eating the worst quarantine snacks possible i've eaten more junk food in the last week than i have in this entire year so the reasons why i think i lost the weight were one my body finally started letting go of some water weight that it was holding on to because i was chronically dehydrated i definitely look and feel a lot less puffy than i was before which is something you wouldn't think you would think that the more water you drink the more water your body would hold but it's actually the opposite when you're dehydrated your body tends to cling on to all of the water and not let it go because it's worried it's not going to get it again so i think it was able to flush out a lot of water so another reason why i think i lost some of this weight is that the water really curbed my cravings a lot of the times when we think we're hungry we're actually just thirsty so a lot of times if you're just sitting around and you're constantly thinking about food and you just even though you're not hungry and you can't figure out why it's probably because you're thirsty a lot of the times when i was just sitting at the computer thinking about food if i just chugged a bunch of the water in a couple minutes those cravings would just disappear and they wouldn't come back and it was absolutely amazing and that is such a huge deal for me because i think about food all the time that is it for my week-long water challenge let me know in the comments if you plan on doing this challenge and what you hope to get from doing it follow me on instagram where i post daily updates in my instagram stories on my weight loss and fitness journey and also guys follow me on tiktok i'm so obsessed with it just go follow me over there it's a good time i will leave links below to this water bottle and the 30 day water challenge once that comes out i'll put that in the description box below hit the subscribe button and that notify bell because it is so important that you hit that notify bell otherwise youtube will not tell you when i post new content or that new video so please 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 hit the notify bell stay safe out there guys until next time uh -huh. Uh -huh.